is not a tale of chickens and it's not a tale of puppy dogs. It's a, it's a tale of two axes. Just a quick and dirty initial look at two axes I bought. One of them is an American, basically an American felling axe. I'm not sure that has a Michigan head maybe. And the other one is a boy's axe. So one's two and a quarter pounds, the other one's four and a half pounds. They're cheap and I kind of like them. But we're going to talk more about them a little bit. Two axes I picked up. American felling axe I got at Harbor Freight. It's a Pittsburgh axe. It goes under the name brand Pittsburgh. And it's a four and a half pound American felling axe. Yeah, it goes in there pretty good. This is what it looks like. what it looks like I'm working on the handle now I'm using the draw knife I'm gonna shave this down it's a little bit fat it's a little too fat right in there but it's like a nice bit and this is made in India and the steel is nice it comes with a pretty good edge already but I'm gonna just touch it up I don't know how much good I'm actually even gonna do with it but I think I need the touch up the other one I love, I just love this. This is the boy's axe. So this other one here, the felling axe, I got at um, Harbor Freight, $20. This boy's axe I got at Tractor Supply, $15 for this boy's axe. Two and a quarter pound. I want to say 25 inches long. I measured it, but now I forget how, how long it is. But that's how long it is. Let's see how tall it is. It's like mid-thigh for me. So you compare this with the felling axe, which is much bigger. And the felling axe is all the way up to my hip, all the way up to there. Yeah, I'm not the tallest guy in the world, that's true. But the point is, this is much bigger and beefier. It's a felling axe, <clears throat> and it does, it does a good job taking the trees down. But the thing is, for every application, this axe is good. I love the boy's axe. So this is my first one, it was cheap. It's $15, it's a, a tractor supply. It goes under the name brand Groundwork. Groundwork. And it's made in India too. This is a made in India axe too. The bit seems good, the edge is good. The edge is good. I've been splitting with it. I've been splitting my firewood for the, for the wood stove with it and it's working, it's working great. I'm gonna touch up the edge, I haven't done any sharpening yet. I'm gonna to touch up the edge, but it comes with a pretty good edge. My only question is the, the steepness of the bevel. Like you don't want a big chunk of metal and then all of a sudden it goes real violently into the point because how good is that point gonna be? It's gonna get worn down. So you wanna have that broader, that, that more narrow profile. Anyway, I'm gonna mess with it. They're not great. I mean, it's, it's like, that's pretty quality. That's not terrible. You can see how it's hung with these, these round wedges stuck in there, that it's a pretty good fit. I don't know, but right there, it's a pretty good fit. Now, it should be proud, it should be sticking up a quarter inch, and it's not, and that's a bit of a problem. And then when you look at the other side, I don't know if we can see that, probably not. There's some gaps, there's some very, very not even, and it's curling. That curl there means that the head was placed down nice and firmly <clears throat> on the handle, and so it curls the wood, and when you see those curls, you're like, that's good. Like that's, that's, that's steel on wood, and that's what you want, as much steel on wood as you can have. The thing is, if it starts to come loose, you have nothing to play with up here. Probably have to replace the whole handle. But for a weekend guy like me, so what? This is cool. I like it a lot. So I'm gonna, I haven't worked on the handle yet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sand the handle down, and I'm gonna uh, put a little bit more of an edge on the, on the, the bit but it's pretty good. Two and a quarter pound. It's a boy's ax. Are we rolling? We're rolling. Okay, it's another beautiful sunset over Hinching Gasa. Another beautiful sunset. Not a waterless sunset. Hinchin Gasa Sunset. That was the original title of that King Kong. It was called Hinchin Gasa Sunset, and then they changed it. So anyway, we sharpened up the axe, and we're going to, um, ah, hang on. 
we're gonna go try and cut up some wood. I've never really done this before. I'll show you what I'm talking about in a second. We'll tune back in. Um, yeah, it's beautiful here. Look at that sunset behind me. How about that? Since we're out here, let's take a look at the Lackawanna sauna in the sunset. There's this Lackawanna sauna in the sunset. How's that? Not bad. Can go and take a look at that. It's really pretty when the sun's coming through the window. sun coming through the window inside the sauna you sit right up here in the corner and that's your view out the windows it's a nice one okay we're gonna split some wood we'll be back in a in a jiff so this is what we got I put an edge on this I put an edge on this I put an edge on you uh, it's it's good I use the um I used the stones and I used the sharpening system, although that had to be regritted. I did that tonight. And then I worked the handle a little bit too. I, I sanded it down a bit. It's a little lumpy in places, but I almost like it because it gives you like a better grip. So I worked the handle. I touched up the touched up the edge a little bit. It's like almost paper cutting sharp just about. I figure it feels pretty good. And then the question is gonna be how long can it hold the edge? This is the Pittsburgh brand. Uh, Harbor Freight American Felling Axe. So we'll see how it does. I have no idea. I've never done this before. But this is a first. We moved down the log a little bit. Making some good progress with this one. It's biting in pretty good. It feels like it's holding its edge. It's not... So that took me a few minutes, not too terribly long. It did a good job biting in. That's a workout, man, holy cow. So, the Harbor Freight, the Harbor Freight Pittsburgh American Felling Axe. I have nothing to compare it to because I've really never cut up wood like this before. But it works, took me a few minutes. That's why you use the chainsaw. So I'm, I'm happy with that. That worked out well. I put an edge on it, it seems to have held the edge, and uh, we cut up a piece of wood. Not so bad. And it's a heck of a workout too. Okay, that was our review of the American Felling Axe by Harbor Freight, right there.